it is just next to the box. Next the box, to the box. box, yes, next to the box, yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, we had Carlos Perdomo. You can choose another number. Hi, teacher. Hi. Number three. Number three? Yes. Okay. Where is the cat? The cat is in front of the window. Yeah, perfect. In front of the window. Great. Okay. Good. Now we have which number who wants to continue? Ernesto. Okay. Number eight. Number eight. And then we... Where is the cat? The cat is above of the box. Is above the box. This is a wonderful picture. I love it because it's above. when we say above is por encima de sin tocar la caja. Si yo digo over, que era la que estábamos viendo hace un momento, quiere decir que si está sobre la mesa, o sea, si toca la superficie. Pero en este caso, si ustedes ven, he's kind of flying, right? <laughs> I love that picture. Okay, let's have Yujita. Yujita, what number do you want to choose? Then we will have Milena. Now we have Yujita, and then we'll have Milena. So, Yujita. Milena. Okay. Two. ¿Quién está hablando? ¿Yuyita o Milena? Porque Yuyita tenía la mano levantada hace un rato. Milena. Milena. Ok. Ok. No sé qué pasa con Yuyita que desde hace rato tiene la mano levantada y como que no le funciona el micrófono. Ok, Milena. Number two. Eh, Between, between the box. El between es cuando está entre dos cosas. Ah, en medio, sí, perdón, behind en behind, en medio. Behind sería detrás, ¿no? Detrás de... de... <laughs> in, in the box. Yes, in the box. In oh, the box. Just in time, yes. Uh -huh. So between, este, por ejemplo aquí, the cat is between the two dogs. Sí. Es en medio de dos. Sí, El between sí. siempre va a ser entre dos cosas nada más. Sí. Eh, ok, good. Yeah. Behind the trap, sí, perdón. Uh -huh. No, it's okay, it's perfect. Danny, and then we'll have Yujita. I don't know if Yujita can speak now, but Danny. Oh, let's see, okay. Uh, number seven. Ok, where is the cat? Where is the cat? B. Excuse me? It is la B. 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 Behind. Behind the door. Yes. The cat is behind the door. Yeah. Okay. Next, we'll have Danny and then we'll have Camila. Okay. Danny. Number four. Number four. Where is the cat? Uh, on. Yes, perfect. No puede decir on, no puede decir over, que es porque está sobre la mesa, está tocando la mesa. En cambio, la above, que lo vimos aquí, si ven que estaba ahora como volando, ¿no? En este above. Uh -huh. sí, es como... es cuando no toca la superficie. So, I would say that... Um, The airplane is above the city, right? When it's flying. And finally, we'll have uh, who was the other person? Camila, I think. Camila. Yes, yeah. yeah. So number five is under the table. The car is under the table. Exactly. The car is under the table. Wonderful. Well, loved these pictures of cats. <laughs>
So congratulations everybody here. Yes? Yeah. Okay. And now we will have the quiz. Now that we uh we actually we actually have a quiz. De hecho, sí tenemos por ahí un quiz que vamos la semana pasada en que vamos a hacer algo así. So to play this game. Yes. What is the difference between over and on? No, they are similar. They are quite similar. Above sí indica que no está tocando la superficie, ¿no? Pero over and on si es sobre están tocando la superficie. Mm -hmm. Encima de, right? Yes. ¿Son como sinónimos? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's start with this quiz here. Sorry. You can join using this. You are, or you can just go to this link. I'm going to share with you the link. On the chat, here's the link. Okay. Teacher, please put it. Okay, good. I just shared the link. Ya compartí el enlace para que esté el QR, ¿no? And we have the game code. You have the QR code and you can enter instantly. I am ready. Thank you. Good. Okay, let's see how many people we have. Okay, we have Alexa, Diana, Laura, we have Lady, Genesis, we have Gia, Carlos Diaz, Dani, Juber, Juanjo, Vladimir, Marta, and Camila. Okay, great. So let's start. ¿Alguien más está por ahí que nos esté faltando, que esté intentando ingresar en este momento? Que de pronto no haya podido ingresar, esté intentando ingresar. Para las personas que recién se unen, aquí está el enlace. Okay. Good. Creo que hay personas que están teniendo temas con su internet. Porque van y vuelven, van y vuelven. Okay, we have these people here, so let's start. No sé si hay alguien que está por ahí ingresando. Y... So we're, we're going to start, okay? So you're going to have a set of questions. We're going to have a set of questions here. And you will choose the most accurate answer. Remember the last week we, we learned about uh, different situations. When we are in a situation that it's a habit, and when we are in a situation that it's uh, a situation that, it, that is uh, something that we are doing at the moment of speaking, okay? So just, we'll do this quiz, right? Uh, if you get wrong answers, that's okay, not a problem, okay? Just look, we'll look at the examples at the end, okay? Good? You ready? You say, yes! Yes, teacher. <laughs> okay, wonderful. <laughs> Yes, let's go. Yes, teacher. Okay, great. Okay, so let's start. Mm -hmm. 
you're going to work on your own time, ok? Van a trabajar a su ritmo, ¿no? Cada, cada persona va a responder a su ritmo, ok? Vamos a dar unos máximo 5 minutos para esto. Aquí a mí me va mostrando quién es, ¿sí? Like, on her time, right? Or, or on their time, ok? on Mondays. It's not a it's a habit. She doesn't go to bed late on Mondays, yes. 14 correct, 2 incorrect, great. Then we'll have here number four. What is the answer in number four? Twelve uh, correct. Don't use it. Don't use we don't use this application very often, yes, this one here, the first one, don't use, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Number five. What do you write? Uh, yeah. Cuando decimos, let me see, es como déjame ver, o sea, está pasando en ese momento, what are you writing, ¿ya? Yeah? Si yo dijera, ah, yo soy una escritora, I'm a writer, entonces ahí le preguntarían a alguien, what do you write? Porque es como, ¿cuál es, ¿qué es lo que usualmente hace, no? ¿Qué es lo que usualmente escribe? Pero en ese caso que dice, let me see, es como que la persona lo está haciendo en ese momento, what are you writing, let me see, right? Ok, entonces es... Are you writing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What are you writing? Exactly. This one here. Mm -hmm. Number six. Es esta pareja. Nine correct, eight incorrect. <laughs> Nine people got it correct, eight people got it incorrect. He's busy mm. with the homework at the, mo at the moment. Not watching. And he's not yes. watching, isn't, isn't, is not watching TV, right? El not watching, mm. is, si aquí tuviéramos un is, is, is not watching TV. This one here, okay? Is not or isn't. Uh, I don't understand the question. He's busy with the homework and at the moment... Está ocupado con sus tareas y en el momento no está viendo televisión. He's not watching TV. Okay. Uh, 
ok, sí, sino que no entendí es por qué él isn't watching it y no not watching it. Porque es como si dijera, si pusieras not watching, entonces dirías, y no viendo televisión. ¿Sí? Literal. O sea, sonaría muy chipchumbiano, pues. Algo. ¿Sí? Ok. <risa> algo, algo incompleto. <risa> ok. Ok, number seven. 